The dominant normal form used in practice is the third normal form. It's very similar to the Boyce-Cott normal form, but it's slightly more general. For the definition of the third normal form, we need to know what a key attribute is. A key attribute is an attribute that appears in a minimal key. And the restriction to minimal keys is really important here, because otherwise every attribute is a key attribute. The set of all attributes is a key. Okay, so a key attribute is an attribute that appears in some minimal key. For the definition of the third normal form, we assume that we have made all of the right hand sides of functional dependency singular. So if a functional dependency has more than one attribute on the right, then we split this into multiple functional dependencies. A relation R is said to be in third normal form if for every functional dependency, now with a single attribute on the right, one of the following conditions is satisfied. The first two conditions are just the same as for the boy scott normal form. Either the left-hand side contains a key of the relation, or the function dependency is trivial, meaning that the right-hand side is a subset of the left-hand side. There's one more condition, and this condition distinguishes the third normal form from the boy scott normal form. Namely, it's also allowed that the right-hand side is a key attribute of the relation R. And this condition, displayed in red, is the only difference with the boyce cott normal form. So since these conditions are in a disjunction, the third normal form is slightly weaker than the boyce cott normal form, so every relation that's in boyce cott normal form is automatically also in third normal form, but not the other way around, due to this additional condition. So in short, we can summarize Boyce-Cott normal form and third normal form as follows. A relation is in Boyce-Cott normal form if and only if, for every non-trivial function dependency, the left-hand side contains a key. And the relation is in third normal form if and only if, for every non-trivial function dependency, the left-hand side contains a key, or the right-hand side is an attribute of a minimal key. Let's have a look at one more example. Here we have the bookings for a small tennis club. We have only two courts. Courts 1 is a hard court, court 2 is a grass court. In this bookings table, we only have the bookings for a single day. So we have the court number, the start time, the end time, and the rate at which the booking has been made. We have different rates. We have the saver rate for member bookings of court 1, the standard rate for non-member bookings of court 1, premium A for member bookings of court 2, and premium B for non-member bookings of court 2. Our task is to find a representative set of function dependencies and to decide whether this table is in boyce cott normal form or in third normal form. So let's first discuss the representative set of function dependencies. No attribute on itself is a key for this relation. However, the court and the start time together form a key. If I tell you what court and when time when the booking starts, then you know when the booking will end, and you also know the rate. So the combination of court and start time forms a key. They uniquely determine all other attributes. Likewise, the combination of court and end time forms a key of this relation. The combination of court and end time uniquely determines the start time and the rate. Moreover, the rate uniquely determines the court, because we have saver and standard for court 1 bookings, and premium A, premium B for court 2 bookings. So we have three functional dependencies that imply all other functional dependencies. The first we have court start time, uniquely determines end time and rate. 
we have court end time, uniquely determined start time and rate. And we have a function dependency, the rate uniquely determines the court. And these three function dependencies imply all other function dependencies. For instance, they also imply that the rate and the start time together form a key uniquely determining the court and the end time. So is this table in voice code normal form? No, it is not. If you're looking at the function dependency, the rate uniquely determines the court, then the left hand side, the rate, is not a key of this relation. And this function dependency is not trivial. The right hand side, court, is not a subset of the left hand side rate. So this table is not in voice code normal form. However, is it in third normal form? Let's look at the same function dependency. The rate uniquely determines the court. So we've already established the left hand side does not contain a key. Let's look at the right hand side. The question is, is the right hand side a key attribute? The court is an attribute of a minimal key, namely the minimal key consisting of court and start time. So the court is a key attribute. So this function dependency, the rate uniquely determines the court, is not a violation of third normal form. What about our other function dependencies? The court and the start time together uniquely determine end time and rate. This is fine. It's even in Boyce code normal form because the left hand side contains a minimal key, court and start time. Likewise, court and end time uniquely determine start time and rate is also fine, it's even in voice code normal form, because the left hand side contains the minimal key consisting of court and end time. So indeed, the table is not in voice code normal form, but it is in third normal form.